It's the 1st of March. The official start of spring is just a couple of weeks away, although it does feel like we're already there. What a perfect day to start the proper DIY 2022 garden series. Hello and welcome to the first of this season's garden series. Each week I'll be getting up to something in or around the garden. And before we get to today's main topic, which is actually repairing my front fence, I'd like to show you some of the things which are going to be coming up over the next few months in the spring and the summer. So let's start with this area, which at the moment only has a couple of pots of golden bamboo, which I intend to plant out while still containing them so they don't run away too much. But I wanted to start turning this area into a tropical type garden. You know the type of thing, banana trees, palms, jungle type feel. So I've got quite a lot of work to do in this area. I also intend to build a green wall along this fence, which I've never done before, but I'm preparing for it already. I've also got garlic growing here in bags since November, which I've never grown before. So I'm interested to see how they develop and what the end result is as well. I've already got a number of trays of seeds, both flowers and veg, just sown inside in the warm that are starting to emerge, which I'll be adding to over the next few weeks. And I've also been taking some cuttings of my star jasmine recently, which I'm interested to see how that turns out, all of which I'll be talking about in a lot more detail in future episodes. Now another important area in the garden for me is of course my lawn which was okay last summer but it wasn't flat and I also had a real battle with annual meadow grass so this year I'm up for the fight and I intend on winning. So if you're into your lawns like I am there'll be plenty coming up for you and as well there'll also be more garden furniture builds, raised beds, paving, paths. I want to sort out an area next to the garage at the front of the house which we didn't really know what to do with last summer, but it's crying out for some attention and love, which I'm planning at the moment. Anyway, before I do any of that fun stuff, I need to do some emergency repairs to my front fence, which really didn't enjoy the recent storm. So this is what used to be my front fence, and essentially the post rotted through just above the concrete. So in the winds we recently had, this post fell over, and then the two panels either side went as well. So I've just been tidying things up and I'm lucky that I managed to get the bottom of the post out of the concrete. So half the foundation is already built for me. So I need to get this post cut down to size, get some black bitumen on it, and then I can put it back in the hole. I don't really like cutting posts that need to go in the ground. I would rather dig the hole to the correct depth. However, as I already have the foundation in place, I have no choice. So I give it a good coat of this sticky blackjack bitumen paint to protect it before it goes in. As there's just a few millimeters between the post and the concrete here, I don't want any aggregate getting into the gap and stopping me from holding the post vertical as the concrete gains strength. So I firstly mix up some grout, that's just pure cement and water, that I can pour into the gap and flows all around the post to surround it, and will go hard, but just with no stones in the mix. The grout I haven't used goes back into the mixer and I mix a standard post mix of around 6 to 1 ballast to cement to top up the foundation.
With the post in place and the lower gravel boards fixed, I use stones I've just removed from behind the old fence to make a no finds concrete mix to go behind the gravel boards, which once set, will hopefully stop these stones moving and pushing against this fence on this slope, while still allowing rainwater to pass through. With this in place, I fix a second gravel board that's just here because of the difference in level and put a couple of supports halfway between each post just to make sure the two gravel boards are tied together and aligned. I can then measure the gap in the existing fence that I need to fill with the old fence boards, which means I can now work out their spacing. With a 107mm jig that I've just made, I can start fitting the fence boards to the cant rails I've just fixed to the posts. which is a very repetitive but strangely satisfying job. So there you go, there's a fence back in place and complete, ready for another few seasons, I hope. So it's really handy making a little jig like this so you can space these fence panels. It's worth five minutes doing that. All I would say is every three or four panels, just use a spirit level, make sure you're still plumb because there is that sort of opportunity just to start creeping and suddenly getting out of plumb. I was actually gonna stain it today with this Ronsil stain. But quite rightly, it says on the back, everything's got to be really dry. And this, these panels are still a little bit wet from the recent rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for a couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll get some prolonged dry weather. And then when it's nice and dry, I'm going to stain both front and back. And I might even use a spray. I've never used a spray to try to spray a fence. But I don't really fancy using a brush. So I might use a sprayer because apparently this stuff... Uh, is okay for using a Ron Seal spray, so I might try that a little bit in the future. So anyway, at least I've got a fence back. So that's really nice to get that little job out the way, and hopefully any winter storms are now behind us, and we can actually enjoy the spring and the summer coming up. Because I've got a lot of work to do in this garden, so I'm gonna be kept busy for many months. So please join me every Tuesday to see what I get up to. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. Like next week, you'll be able to find out what I'm hiding underneath this tarpaulin. And if you like your lawns, I think you're going to be interested. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on my channel. And please go and have a look at our Patreon page, where you can support the channel and see extra videos every week. So until next week, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs>